hello everyone and welcome back to another video so today's video is um, my worst designer purchases now I think I've been quite lucky in that the majority of luxury um, expensive purchases I've made for the most part have been quite good um, however I have had a few um, uh, stinkers should we say um, so I thought I'd quickly show them you Firstly, as it's right here, I'm not going to dwell on it, I have a whole video, um, if you'd like to go and watch for more detail. Um, my Jacquemus top, uh, from spring summer 21, within the first wear, one of the ooh, hook and eyes, I'll put on screen there, um, popped out. Now luckily it wasn't all that important um, of the three, uh, this top can still function and close uh, with the other two, uh, as it was the middle one, um, but yeah, it really was quite a disappointment to purchase such an expensive top and have it break so easily however the top the style of it itself um is amazing the material composition is uh wool and hemp uh, natural materials perhaps due to uh a little break here or um maybe the style i just haven't had the use of it i thought i would which is quite disappointing and can perhaps unless i wear it this autumn see myself uh selling it Staying on the lines of uh, clothing pieces, general category of uh, needle and thread pieces. So I have one here that I cannot sell, I cannot give it away. Um, I had another piece which was my racer's dress for last year. It was a beautiful, uh, well-made needle and thread um, maxi dress. Um, it was however just too long for my liking, a little too large, so I ended up selling, obviously made quite a considerable loss. Uh, this piece was the first choice, um, the one thing I will say, you know, they really are well made, the uh, detail is beautiful, you know, embroidery sequins, um, as you can tell <laughs> it still has the tags on, um, because this was a piece I purchased thinking I would wear um, that summer for the races. But shortly realised, um, though I do love the colour and I love the pieces as a whole, um, and if I was to see someone wearing that, I'd think, ooh, cute. I just can't wear it in a way which, for me, uh, feels mature enough for myself. It doesn't feel like me on, if that makes sense. I can appreciate the piece and I enjoy and really, really like the piece itself, but on me and for me, it just doesn't work. I believe this was £175. I tried selling this for, gosh, 60 I think we're now down to 50 I cannot get rid of this top. <laughs> yeah, needle and thread for me has been quite a fail. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, the final category, shoes. The first pair, as you perhaps may have seen me discuss in my Jimmy Choo video, the lawn seals don't show the soles live, that's not very lovely. Um, so these shoes I purchased for my prom when I was 16. And I've said this before, but I do not know whether I have particularly skinny feet or these were defective. Um, but when I um, go to fasten this shoe, and I have very bony ankles, so I need to tighten it perhaps to the tightest setting. Um, as you can see, if you tighten, do you see the way it bulges out? And it was like that from the first day I tried them on. Obviously at 16, I was none the wiser. I just needed my shoes quickly. Um, and I wore them under my dress, which you couldn't really see them anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, but because of that, I haven't really worn these shoes because to wear them comfortably, I need them on the tightest setting for the support. However, when I do wear them on the tightest setting, they just don't flow with my leg. They don't look how I want them to. Um, so these are again, although they were, I don't think they were my first designer uh, item. No, I think it was a Chanel SLG. Um, so I, th I think I can see myself selling these. Um, I've always said I'll keep them, perhaps my ankles will get bigger, I'm not sure. Um, I think that's ridiculous when I could find a pair now which uh, work for me now and for the future. And the final pair of shoes are a pair of Roger Vivier flaps, 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 flats, <laughs> of which you can see the insole for. Um, so I picked these up a few, a couple years ago now. 
um, off of Depop. I wanted a pair of um, white patent ballet flats. I'm a ballet flat girl, that's what I like to wear in summer if I'm not wearing sort of a gladiator sandal or wedge or something. It's, and it's quite surprising that when I search for a pair high street low-end designer designer to find a white patent pair of ballet flats that were not that square stubby platypus looking and i just wanted you know an almond round toe uh no such luck so i found these on depot i paid i think about 150 pounds um i believe they now retail for about 400 i think back then they retail for a lot less uh so yeah i've got quite the bargain they could always be fake i didn't get them authenticated i would like to think they're not I tried to do my research um to the best i can but you truly never know unless i was to go and get them authenticated um which perhaps if i i desire one day i may but what a great deal great size five i believed at the time i was a size five um yet when they came they'd been worn once twice and maybe they looked immaculate condition of them so you could tell they had been lightly worn sanitized all that jazz um and they were huge and not only were they huge they were also the most uncomfortable pair of shoes i had ever worn <laughs> i was going on a trip um they were not only slobbing off my feet i had to uh get taxis to take me you know three minutes down the road i just could not walk it i was getting piggybacks it was a whole mess <laughs> um because they just they really nip so uncomfortable um but i found that putting an insole in which helps for the sizing um i love that they're patent so i can wear a white pair of shoes racing and you know when you go into the inner circle or you walk along grass um you know they get muddy but you can just wipe them which is brilliant um, i'll link any i can find below of this style and of others um a white pet patent pair of flats i think they're handy also if i hair dry them <laughs> before i put them on they also nip a lot less uh, and i think it could perhaps just be a case of wearing them in a white patent pair of uh, flats uh, fits into my wardrobe quite well so that was my little ramble on um pieces that um were a bit of a fail but thank you for watching i will see you on my next video um and i hope despite my ramble you enjoyed okay bye